Right, welcome and uh, welcome to uh, the public speaking training program. And here we do free trainings, free practice, come and practice your speaking, create opportunities, create a leverage to speak and to do more. So if you are here, I uh, just want to special welcome you to let you know that you are in the right hands and we are ready to practice. If you are ready, you can come up on stage. You can also watch the YouTube live stream to see how we do the practice then later you can join but then my name is ibrahim mustafa and i believe in you i already have mash in the studios and now uh, we are going to do more we are going to practice it's practice time and you can take opportunity leverage and to practice so i'm going to do different sessions i'm going to bring up different people for us to practice and to do more Right, so it's a practice session. You can join my Telegram for us to do the practice and uh, to get opportunity, the link, to always do the practice. So my name once again is Ibrahim Mustafa. I'm going backstage and I'll be bringing you up to practice. So if you are here, let me know that you are here. The man himself, the ballon, <laughs> Stibri. Yes, I was. Good evening. Good, good evening and welcome. I have uh, Marsh also joining. So I okay, just want to do okay. one or two introductions and we kick start. So it's, it's nice to have all of you. And I'm Mugule Sapi, that we are here to learn, we are here to practice, and we are here to do what we do best. So we are live on YouTube. We are live on uh, all the channels that you think about, LinkedIn, Facebook, and I'm sharing this to different platforms and different places. So if you're also here, join the live stream or watch us on YouTube. You can watch the live stream on YouTube or on Facebook. But then I want you to go to uh, YouTube because you can get it at YouTube. You can get it very clear and uh, it's very practical and clear. So. I'm just getting ready. If you are ready, let me know you are ready. So this is the public speaking practice session and you get the leverage, you get the opportunity to do more if you believe. It's all about believing, it's about it's all about creating chances and it's all about giving back to society. I have great men who are here and we are going to do justice to the practice sessions. Come, practice, Practice, come and practice, come and practice and practice and practice and practice. So I just want to share some tips quickly before we start the practice session. Number one is you need to believe in you. You need to believe that yes, it's possible you can speak in public. You need to also believe that you can do something productive. So never give up, never stop believing and keep showing up. So welcome, uh, gentlemen, and I'm happy to have you all. Marsh, welcome. Thank you, boss. Okay, so uh, it's a new day, and you know, uh, maybe you can share your experiences about yesterday, and uh, we can start. Do I go first? Yes, yes, you can go first. Let's go. I think the network, okay, Marsh, you can go if you are ready. Okay. Yesterday, I learned some few things. Great. About how great. to meet public speaking. Great, great, great. So, uh, we have different people. Yes, we can hear you. 
loud and clear. Okay. Okay. Right. Good evening. We have Chizak. So I learned Chizak, some few things. I learned some few things about public speaking. Great. Okay. So today, and what you, do you want to and, learn? And you... Okay. Right. Okay. So I want to today... learn more. I want to learn more. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, welcome to today's session. And uh, today. We want to learn more, we want to do more, and I just want you to know that it's always possible to create that rapport, to create that opportunity that you want. Public speaking is a skill that can help you, that can take you from where you are to where you want to get to. So, uh, Balong has joined us again. Welcome, bro. Yeah, thank you. Great. So, maybe you can share your experience about yesterday's journey and maybe today what you expect. Yeah, yesterday was so nice. Great. It was just on spot. I needed to find my way out the organizers of this program. Right. Okay. So today, I think your your network is a little bit up and down, but all the same, we are going to navigate through. The network is like a little bit challenging. So uh, maybe if you are here, you can hear me. Just do your uh, self-introductions because that's what I always start with. I want to do my own introduction. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa. I'm a public speaking coach. I train people to speak in public and I help people to get their voice. I'm the CEO of Me for Africa and I've been helping people for the last 10 years to speak with power and to speak with precision. Uh, I'm here. So let's go. Who goes first? Mash? Okay. Come again. I'm saying... Uh, Yesterday, you learned about introductions. So maybe you can come again okay. and uh, do a little bit of introduction. And let's move on. Okay. To, to start with, I will say, my name is Mashud. Accountant okay. by profession, and I'm here to lecture about in discipline. Okay, talking about it, you lecture about in discipline. I like that. I like that. So today you are going to do the lecture about in discipline, and I'm going to bring you up to do the lecture. Hope you you are ready. Oh, yes. Great. So I'm going to bring you down. And uh, in the next five minutes, you are coming back to do the lecture. But then okay. I want you to prepare. Okay. Prepare the lecture very well. Okay. And just hit it up and okay. speak fast. I want you to go faster today. Right. Thank you once again. Uh, it's the public speaking practice session of I am Abdul Ghaffar. I think you have to come up. Uh, thank you for doing the monitoring. We are live on. Uh, YouTube, we are live on LinkedIn and also on Facebook. I just want the opportunity to share to my Facebook friends and uh, so that we can get to do more, to see more. So if you're also seeing this video, go on YouTube and share it to your friends. Just share it to your friends. And to all my people on WhatsApp and on Telegram, I just want you to come up and let's do the speaking. Let's do the speaking challenge. Let's do the speaking and let's practice our voice. We can do more. Uh, with the little that we have, we can create opportunities to do more. So you have to come up on stage. I'm just getting my branding materials on so that you can get to speak with power, of precision. And uh, I think we, we, we can do more. We can do more. So branding messages, right? And uh, you need to speak. 
there are reasons why you need to speak in public you need to speak of power you need to believe in yourself you need to create that opportunity that you have to speak and you need to be on top of the subject you need to know what you are talking about and don't be afraid to make grammatic mistakes a lot of you are afraid to make grammatical errors and that is why you are afraid to speak in public so send me your comment and let me know where you are monitoring from let me know your city and uh, the country you are monitoring from just put in the comment section and uh, we'll be able to get back to you we are all learning to speak english but then public speaking is not only about english you can use your local dialect to make a change you can use your local language to create change with the power of public speaking so don't be afraid to make mistakes and i want to share the guidelines for my public speaking and i always share these guidelines to let you know that you can do more number one is you need to know your audience number two is that you don't don't memorize your speech number four is tell a story learn to tell a story and number five uh is number four is practice number five is research about your audience number six control your body language you need to control your body language and number seven is be yourself you need to be yourself to be in the element and to be able to do what you are doing so it's all about public speaking and you can speak you can create opportunities and you can do more so let me just take time to share this to my audience on the who do I have a new person joining up. Welcome, Hudu. Hi, good evening. Thanks for having me. Great. I appreciate your coming and thank you for coming up on stage. Maybe you can just tell us a little about who you are and uh, let's pick it up from there. All right. Um, thank you very much. Uh, my name is um, Hudu Yahaya and i i work with uds and i stay in tamad basically that is what i can say about myself great i like that that that, that, like that figure in the voice i like that confidence in the voice who do yeah yeah i like that so today before we start do you have some questions then we can kick start and we have we also have mash who was here yesterday and he's still here to learn more questions let's go who do i learned it's raining in tamale so you may not have stable network but then uh, whenever you get the network let's go on so okay uh mash any question for today uh, <coughs> any question okay i just want to know the why would i say if you are speaking to your audience right the kind of gestures you will make to draw their attention or what to, you will do to draw their attention okay right it still comes down to your hands and uh how you want to draw get your attention so mostly your hand should be above your waist so if you are speaking your hand should be above your waist and once your hands okay. are above your waist you can control that so and you need to know just just sometimes your mouth can say something but your gesture can mean something different so body language is key especially if you are meeting diplomats if you are meeting people like of high authority they understand body language very well so for example if i want to say uh, 10 right and i say i okay. do my fingers like this two i don't think it's it's going to show 10 no 
But if I want to say 10 power and I do like 10, you'll get to 10. see our understanders. If I say one okay. and I do this, you can see that there's strong body language there. So you need to understand your body language and you need to use your body language to your advantage. So you need to use your body and sometimes your smile. You can use your smile okay. to capture your audience and but to yeah. reach out to them. Yes. So your smile also makes a difference. Abrof, okay. Christian, you have to come up. You have to come up. Abrof, uh, the African Youth Commander. And uh, this is our program. And uh, I believe that you can come up and let's partner to do more. Reach out to more people. Bring up more people to speak. But then let's do more. Thank you for the like. So if you're also listening to this, why don't you share? Why don't you like? Uh, why don't you come up on stage and let's speak? Let's speak. So it's time for the public speaking uh, practice session. And you will have to practice. And I will go back to my, uh, I think my this thing, which is uh, the slides. Uh, you, one, you need to know your audience. Number two, you don't need to memorize. Number three, you need to learn to tell stories. Beautiful stories, nice stories, great stories. Number five, you can practice. Uh, that's number four, you need to practice. Practice makes you not perfect, but it keeps you going. Practice gives you the opportunity to do more. Practice will give you the opportunity to be able to reach out to your potential. So public speaking is important, but practicing is just the secret ingredient to public speaking. And I've been coaching ministers, member of parliaments. I've been coaching people to speak of power. And I understand that the more you practice, the more you get better. The more you practice, the more you can do more. So public speaking is all about practice and you can practice to do more. Welcome on stage, Donald Duck. Welcome, bro. You are muted. You can unmute yourself and let's move on. Okay, great. Uh, internet connectivity problems. So we need to practice. So let's go over some words. Mash. Okay. So like power. I want you to like power. Power. Power. Power. Power. Power. Great. So and this one technique that I use to get my voice like to match my voice. Sometimes amplify. I can pick yes, amplify it. I can pick words and I'm just going through the words one by one. I can pick energy, okay. power, creativity, chick hicks. Welcome, chick hicks. Right, I think we have internet connectivity issue and uh, we have people coming up and uh, going down because of the connectivity issue. So, but then that's one of the secret things I do. I pick up Wes and I will just, one day I'll just be mentioning the Wes. I'll be mentioning them. Power, power, energy, consistency, believe, natural, traditional, international. Like, I just bring West up and I'm mentioning those words. I have a lot of friends on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, thank you. I prefer YouTube from the Facebook. Then, because YouTube, I get to monetize on YouTube. Thank you very much, uh, Fashini. Abdul Gafar, I think today we'll talk more extensively about TV writing. Zach, if you are here, come up on stage and let's speak. Uh, today, I want you to I want to have you on stage. Uh, the majority leader, thank you very much. Jake Hicks. Nega, welcome. nega, nega, nega. <laughs> so I think we have uh, the live screen being uh, people coming up and... Uh, going down because of network issues so so that is what you need to do mash to get your voice okay. back to amplify just mucho it you can just learn keep learning keep watching keep streaming whatever it is just like putting some consistency putting some consistency welcome hoodoo
Welcome once again, Hudu. Hudu Yahaya. Um, yes, um, thank you very much, Mr. Brian. Right. I think Tamale is really. I really the don't know is... whether it is my network or. It's the rain. There's rain in Tamil, right? Did it rain in Tamale? Let's go. So I think uh, we have network issues here, but then we need to keep con uh, moving on with the practice session. So sometimes I bring up words and I just mention those words. And there are things that like I also have, and these things, they are like, they are, who do, if you are here, let me know. We have some words and uh, these are words that you can use to practice your public speaking and later i'm going to bring up some of the words then uh, you we can be able to use those words to practice our speaking so no matter what no matter who you are you still need to practice practice is key if you want to win in public speaking practice is key if you want to create opportunity so uh mash yes time is here faster do your uh your speech for the students okay good morning audience i am my shoot an accountant by profession start again start I have again, been start again. Start again, start again okay okay good evening students and welcome to today session which is about in discipline i am accountant by profession i have been tasked to speak to you about in discipline and before i begin my speech i would like to give you a scenario about two brothers One okay. of should I go on? Yes, you can go on. Okay. One of them was very obedient, following instructions from higher authority. Then the other one was very disobedient, who never follow instructions okay so the one who follow instructions from higher authority succeeded in life then the disobedient one never succeeded so obedience is key to success I like that. Straightforward. <laughs> straight, straight, straight. I like this creativity. And uh, but like I'm happy okay. because your presentation, to be frank, is improving. Like day by day. Okay. I can see like the power in your presentation, like you are, you are making strides. So just keep up, keep up, keep up, keep up. Who do you are here? Okay. I'm just going to get those words. So you can get some of the words and uh, you can start practicing. I've forgotten the name of those words. So there are a lot of things that you can do uh, like in, uh, when you want to speak in public, when you're going to create opportunities for yourself. And uh, that is important because you need to just believe in you and you need to create that rapport. You need to create that consistency and you need to let people appreciate that. Yes, you are the one and you can make strides for yourself. So public speaking is about impact, creating opportunities for others 
and understanding that you can make a difference. So, Marsh, go over again, do your presentation again, start again. Okay. Good evening, audience. And welcome to today's session, which is about in discipline among students. And before I begin my speech, I would like to give you a story about two brothers. One of them was very obedient, following instructions from higher authority. Whatever tax he was given to do, he do it with discipline. And the other was never obedient, always given excuses whenever he is given a task to perform. So the one who the one who was obedient and always followed instructions succeeded in life and had a very good job. But the, the, the disobedient one never succeeded. So obedience is key in life. In order to Great. succeed, you have to be obedient. We have to be obedient. And uh, we have much talking about uh, a speech about indiscipline. And uh, that we need to be disciplined. And uh, we need, if you are indisciplined, definitely you are, gonna, you are not going to succeed in life. I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask something. Okay, right. Whether you have scripts of speeches prepared by yourself, where one can learn from. Yes, I have a book uh, that has like a lot of speeches and uh but i didn't prepare those speeches but i okay. have them like i just i d got some of them on the internet and i used to use those oh. speeches to practice so and uh, okay. after this let me just show show you that and uh maybe if you are online with your phone me show, i'm just going to oh. share my screen for you to see something and okay. this and that same method you can use to get your speeches so okay go on i'm just going to share something share screen chrome tab public speaking so can you see my screen yes Okay, so if I do uh, great famous speeches, so you can just type famous speeches. You can see that there are um, a lot of speeches. Yes, famous speeches on Google. Okay, okay, okay. So once you go on, on famous speeches, you, you are going to see the top 10 famous so, speeches that stand out. Then when you go down you okay. see you you see the speech and you can read okay on. this okay, is a speech okay. by martin, martin, luther, martin king. luther king okay yes. so and there are a lot of speeches that you can just use to practice your presentation so okay there are a lot of them and you can get to learn about that radia lamti radia okay. come up on speech so that's how you can get speeches to practice so there are over one million speeches that you can get and uh, you okay. can use them to practice but notable of them is oh. martin luther king and also okay. three, four, one, queen elizabeth uh nelson mandela a speech you can get that to practice so the more you practice and i like that the more you practice, the more it becomes the more you better. You become. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so you can use that leverage to practice, and practice is key. Oh. And I just want to talk about 
my step formula like five step formula for practice so mash okay you are going to, you are going to talk about leadership today okay so use five minutes to prepare about leadership okay. and you come up on stage okay. five minutes prepare right right so this is my five-step formula for practice who do welcome thank you very much mr Ibrahim. And, and i think now the network is getting better and better if you are not using the fun, funny thing is that if you are not using uh table nets i'm think i'm telling you you will not get the best internet in ghana <laughs> it's quite difficult i'm telling you they, they just like reduce the bandwidth especially if you're in tamale when i come to tamale i can't do live programs so it's difficult okay. wow. right so so who do yes mr brian i want you to talk about leadership what is your perspective about leadership just on the go let's go one <laughs> two three all right thank you very much for the opportunity to speak about um leadership um leadership is about exhibiting a certain um um um, um, um a certain i mean start um, again start again, start again. <laughs> all right all right <laughs> thank you very much um the word leadership is to the best of my knowledge is somebody who leads other people okay. and yes somebody who leads other people and to be a leader, you ought to have certain features in you that will make you a very good and excellent leader. One, Great. a leader would have to be um, patient because you would be um, surrounded by a lot of people, a number of people who come from different backgrounds, who come from different societies, and everybody has been, um, I mean, groomed based on where he or she comes from. So if you don't have that quality of being patient, you will probably be not be able to carry everybody along. And as a leader, you need to go and have your followers follow you. That is number one. As a leader, you need to um, possess a quality, a, a, a, a feature of being, I mean, uh, open. As as, as as much as possible, you have to give your subordinates the opportunity to make contributions and input when it comes to meetings and seminars or workshops so that everybody can bring their opinions to whatever objective that the company or the organization sets for, I mean, their source. And so basically, um, this is what I want, I have to say about leadership. Thanks for the opportunity. Wow. Wow. So imagine that you had prepared, maybe you use like five minutes or even 10 minutes to prepare. How wonderful okay. would that be? You just didn't even prepare, Come again. but you, yeah. I'm saying that that was great. Yes, I've got to it. Yes, yes, yes. Even though you didn't even practice, you just like started something from your mind. And that, that's yes. a mark of a good speaker. You need to learn to just speak on your mark bring out the west bring them together and boom you are good to go so i believe that yeah. you can do more but now the tax i'm going to give you before i bring up uh, my good friend mash is that you are going to talk about leadership but you are going to advise nasal school students you are going to lecture them about leadership how they can lead their lives and stuff you are going to use two minutes uh, three minutes to prepare and two minutes to deliver that speech okay are you there who do welcome victoria maverick You are muted. You can unmute yourself and let's kick started. Okay. Thank you so much. 
Great. Thank you for joining this practice session. And uh, we are happy to have you here. Maybe you can introduce yourself and let's get started. Okay. So my name is Victoria Mavik Enyona Modi. I'm a digital marketing um, person um, with about six years experience in the field. Um, I just kind of got your notification. I think I follow you. So uh, when I saw it and it was about public speaking, I decided to just jump on and then learn from you. So that's why I'm here. Wow. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm happy to have you here on stage. So if you have some questions, you can ask me, then we'll kickstart. Okay. So, I mean, one of the, the questions I have on my mind is, um, you know, I, I do trainings, but every time the, the core thing is that you might just have to do a face-to-face -face audience, probably with a large crowd. Right. I don't know if you have some tips to, I mean, kind of ward off the stage fight or um, reduce anxiety before, um, I mean, you, you take on an event. Right. So there are a lot of things that you can do. But first of all, the live event is it online or offline oh it's offline if it's online i don't whether that <laughs> great so offline there are a lot of things that you can do to be able to do that offline and uh, the first thing is researching your audience okay getting into the minds of your audience so for example maybe you can give me a topic and i'll talk about that okay so um so this this one is this particular one is for um let's say social media right for okay right. um let's say students okay so if i want to do like a training ab about social media to let's say senior high school or even university students yeah the first thing i'll look at is i know the audience they are students okay the second thing I will look up to is what are some of the questions they may ask me. Okay. So you need to preempt, go into your audience minds and even start asking the questions they may ask you. So you okay. get them covered. Because most of the times, the fear that most people have, I've interviewed a lot of people, apart from the fact that they'll tell me that the first five minutes is difficult for them, the fear that majority of people have is that they are afraid that they may ask them questions and they can't answer. So first, you need to go deeper into your audience minds and answer some of the questions. But on the issue of stage fright or getting your audience tense or like relaxed, is when you get, get up on stage, there are two or three or four, or even 10 techniques that you can do. And one of them is you can start by even asking questions. So if I go to a stage and like thousand people and I'm even like tense, I can start by asking questions. And the first question I may ask is, how, uh, what do you intend to learn after this uh, particular session? So I just want to solicit answers about what they intend to learn. And you start seeing them raising hands and saying one or two things. Sorry, we lost uh, uh, our sister, but then there are things that you can, those questions that you can ask to get people ready. And the second way you can uh, get people ready is, I think we are having network issues, but then let's keep on. So the second thing that you can do to get your people ready is you can use icebreakers. Most people use icebreakers. Apart from asking those questions, they use icebreakers to be able to what? Uh, break the ice. And create the opportunity to interact with people that number four is that you, you need to go early go to the event very early and see the people that you are talking to meet the people first if there are many you need to meet them first right welcome back uh, thanks so, so you much. need to go great so maverick you need to uh Go to the event very early. Learn, meet some people, familiar people, interact with them, build that rapport. So when you build that rapport, when you start your presentation, you know that when it's time for you to speak, you know that, oh, you already know the audience. 
one of the things that will happen okay if you are still afraid is you don't go early and you just bump into the audience on stage looking like you are lost it happened to me right and uh it wasn't my fault i went to a particular university that was uds one of the uds campuses in wa and i was i wanted to go on stage to interact with the people first before i start but the SLC were just saying that oh you are our main speaker you are our number one speaker we want you to surprise the audience they didn't believe that i was there so they just wanted me to surprise the audience when it is my time so but I, I, instinctively i didn't want that i was like no let me go up i want to meet some of the people first so they just when it was time for me they introduced me and i just bumped into the stage and i didn't like it if you find yourself in that situation you may get nervous so first okay. go early prepare and sometimes know the type of gadgets you are going to use the microphone test it first okay test it. just speak speak speak to the microphone first like make sure you practice with it if you are using powerpoint also get familiar with that and just go up on stage and know the ins and outs if not you okay. go on stage and now that you are it's time for you to speak because of pressure you pick the microphone and all you have to say is testing mic one two and two can you hear me testing mic <laughs> <laughs> are done testing the mic. i've seen someone okay. do this like for more than 10 times wow because of pressure and it's all he could say was test the mic one, one. can you hear me <laughs> mister we can hear you test him. You, you keep on testing the mic which are you an engineer <laughs> <laughs> right so that is you need to prevent that go up go early and rehearse practice and also don't ever assume that you know more than your students yeah no just know that you are a student you are you are, you are a student yourself but at that particular point you just have the authority to lead them so when you go out there you are giving information based on what you know and don't be afraid to be vulnerable if someone should ask me a question and i don't know i may not just say i don't know honestly I will say that I haven't researched about this. I'm going to do more research about that particular question. Or sometimes okay. I take the question and I throw it to the audience. Oh, what do you think about it? And once they keep sharing their ideas, you will automatically pick the right answer from that. And you summarize with that. So okay. don't, don't go out there and feel like if they ask you a question and you don't know, and you feel like, ah, it's like they disgrace me. No. You are sharing your information some people may have that mindset but just go and kick start uh, thank you so much right i appreciate it so more questions okay um so, mr brian uh, yes. right um like yes okay um like in managing your anxiety uh when you first get into the um, stage right. is it important that you like create something like a joke just to i mean um, create an impression for your audience to laugh a little before you start your program or like before you start your um, speech is it a nice thing to do yes. Great. i can't give an exact answer but there are two things that I want you to know. One, if you are good in telling jokes, go ahead. Number two, if you are not good in telling jokes like me, please don't, don't start it. <laughs> because you may, tell, you may say a joke and the audience are not like laughing. It will kill your morale. It will kill your spirit. Yes. So if, <laughs> if, but you are, there are people who are good even if they say a joke and people don't laugh, they will come and say it again and uh, do that. 
But then the best way to tell jokes or to learn to tell jokes is you can learn from comedians, skits on YouTube. Yeah. And it can give you an idea about when you tell a joke and it's not going on well, how to turn it out and to start telling those jokes. So believe you me, I went to do an MC job at a, an event. It was like a big event at Alisa Hotel in Ghana. And like we had diplomats and they said, I, I should be the MC. And as part of the activity, the, uh, the organizer said, I should just make them smile. I said, hey, how can I make these people smile and laugh? So when I got on stage, my introduction was that I am your, I am your MC for today. But if you were expecting to laugh, I cannot help you. I said, why? I asked myself the question, why? Because when I got the opportunity to MC this event, I told my mother that I'm going to be the MC and I'm going to let, make people laugh. And she started laughing at me and uh, asked her why. She said, but you are not funny. So I just said that and everybody started laughing. And after that, I didn't say any joke again because I know that, Dali, it may go wrong. So based on your audience, <laughs> you can decide to share jokes. If it is business meetings, those businessmen, their minds are hot. So don't even try it. You have to try different ways. But you can also start with some small joke and see their facial expressions. Okay. Yes. Wait. It's great. Let's have a mini show. So maybe uh, let's see what to do. Victoria. Victoria. Who do? Yeah, sorry. I'm yes, sorry. Away from the laptop. Okay, I'll be sorry. back in two minutes. Okay, no problem. So, who do? Yes, Mr. Brian. Can you give okay. us a leadership tutorial again? Have again. I want you to do leadership. Mm -hmm. Forget leadership. about leadership. Forget about leadership now, because Marsh okay. will do leadership. Okay. You've gone to meet uh, teaming hungry young mm -hmm. graduates. And all they want is a job. Okay. They've completed for like two, three years, no job. What is your advice for them? If you are going to okay. speak for two minutes, two minutes. But this all time, right. I want you to take your time, prepare, use three minutes to prepare and uh, talk about okay. whatever you want to talk about. So, Marsh, okay. are you here? Marsh? Yes. yes. Great. So, uh, I'm I gave you a, I yes. gave you a task. Go on with that task. Okay. Okay. Hello, good evening, audience. Welcome to today's section which is about leadership and as you all know leadership is important in all aspects of our life are you done let's go Hello? Yes, I can hear you. You can hear? Right. Good evening, audience. And welcome to today's section, which is about leadership. And as we all know, leadership is very important in all aspects of our life. And as a leader, the there are some qualities you should possess to be able to 
have control over the people you intend to lead to lead one of them is that honesty and integrity are critical characteristics of a good leader i think this this this this is what i can say for now is that what you think or this is what you can say for now okay that's what i think that's what you and maybe so, the little and maybe the little that i i have in mind okay that's fine so fati if you are monitoring just whatsapp me on the just to get into the group so that you can get a link to practice every day so there's a link there's a whatsapp there sorry for uh the delay your message replying your message but then you can uh reach out and let's do this uh you didn't get it earlier but then you can join but there's a link on the youtube channel that you're watching if you are watching on youtube or linkedin or, or facebook there's a link that you can just straight up join up so that we do the practice and why do we do this practice is to help you to develop that flair to help you to test your equipment because sometimes i get opportunities and i want to speak and i get lapses whether zoom whether whatever webinar it is but then if you practice the more you practice the more challenges come up and you are able to solve them even with your software or whatever it is and then also to mature your voice public speaking is about how to mature your voice how can you change your voice to let people cry how can you change your voice to let people get inspired and uh, doing what you do best so my name is Brian Mustafa join us and let's practice we are live on YouTube Facebook LinkedIn and I will be going live on Twitter pretty soon but then we have Victoria and we have Marsh we have Balong is back sorry I just saw this right thank you very much so I think we lost Hudu. Welcome, Balon. Right. So it's raining down lots. And uh, some people may get like network flashes. But then let's move on. And uh As we keep on moving on, I want you to know that you can always get the rapport, get the opportunity to do more. And uh, that's a formula that I'm using to tell, to train my audience. Number one is to know your audience. Number two, don't memorize your speech. Number three, tell a story. Learn to tell stories. Storytelling is key. Practice. Four, practice. And keep practicing. And that's why we are here to practice. Number five, research about your audience know your audience before you go on stage control your body language six you need to control your body language and also number seven just be you and be yourself right thank you very much welcome back and uh it's your time who do okay <clears throat> um thank you very much and Good evening, everybody, and I'll be speaking on the topic about uh, the unemployment rate in Ghana. And I really get very emotional whenever I'm speaking about this particular topic, because the current situation that we have found ourselves is very, very I don't even know the word that I'm going to use to describe it. But ladies and gentlemen, I want to assure you that all is not lost. All of you seated here, you have a brighter future ahead of us. Oh. And at the end of this, my presentation, I, I hope each and every one of you here will leave here with smiling faces. All right. Now, the current unemployment situation in Ghana is about 56% and 
across Africa. We well, last team, are you there? Wow, but then that was like kind of like a bit of emotional getting into the facts, getting into the zone, and letting people know that yes, this is what you want to solve. So you can see public speaking can change the mood. I like how you started your presentation, and I know you can do more. So, who do are you still there? They can rely on that to sustain their lives while they are looking for white collar jobs to, to, to progress in life. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to give you hope. I am here to encourage you and I, I am here to motivate you to I stand up and I mean fight for yourselves because the government cannot do anything for all of us. This year in particular, we have about 100,000 university graduates graduating from various universities and colleges. And the economy of Ghana currently has a little over 600,000 spaces for public sector workers. And you can imagine um, the number of vacancies that will be created at the end of every year. So I want to encourage you that let's begin to look elsewhere for our survival. Let's, I mean, put our, our, our success, our progress into our hands. The government cannot employ everybody at the same time. So what I want to encourage everybody is that let's take up entrepreneurial opportunities. Let's look at avenues that will create income. Let's look at opportunities that are available, available to us so that we can rely on those opportunities and propel our groups. Ladies and gentlemen, I want everybody to take a paper and write something down and take it home. I want you to write on that piece of paper I am going to be a great entrepreneur in the future. Please, when you do that, take it home, keep it at a safe place, use it to remind yourself, and I'm sure that will be a motivating factor to, I mean, look for opportunities that will let you succeed. Ladies and gentlemen, the country, as we speak, everybody is struggling. The, the government is struggling to raise revenues to sustain other sectors of the economy. And I understand recently, the finance minister in parliament, I mean, made a comments with regards to employment. So I, like I indicated at the beginning of my presentation, I want us to cultivate the mindset of entrepreneurs because not everybody that comes out of the university will get employment, I mean, the first year of graduation. But in order to sustain ourselves, we have to begin to widen our lenses. And let me say this, look, there are various opportunities around us you see, some, I mean, speakers will tell you that, motivational will tell you that you can actually start a business with zero capital. And that is very true. Let me explain this to you. You have your idea. Mr. Summit has his idea. I have some. Let's go. Sorry, we, the network is not favoring you, but I like the tangent that you are speaking this to. I like the way you are like putting your ideas and trying to bring like everybody to follow what you want to say. Because like we keep, we are glued to 
what you are going to say next what you are going to say so thank you very much hudu uh, for that presentation even though you are not done but then i still believe that you come back and do more so uh, uh victoria sibiri hi okay victoria so uh your tax is uh, to speak to young girls in Ghana's as a school lady school in Ghana uh, which is like Parana and you are to speak to them and your job is just to inspire them encourage them to become great leaders let's go on the spot <laughs> It's crazy, yes. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you so much. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm very excited. I mean, every time I have to speak to um, young people about um, what tomorrow has in store for them. Um, personally, for me, way back in high school, one of the things I used to really think about because of... Um, where I was coming from financially was whether I would um, actually see the kind of future I had in mind for myself. So tonight, I just want to give you a little bit of inspiration as to the possibilities for you. And these possibilities are not hinged on um, employment. They are not hinged on um, the current state of affairs or where you actually um, see the economy headed. What it has to do for you is the journey that I have had, I'd always lean to the digital marketing space or the web development um, um, and internet work kind of environment. Now the internet environment is very accommodative and thankfully for you in this current times ghana does not have too much of a structure um, when i started out i i had to learn on my own and yes there are people that do give opportunities so you don't really need to fix your mind on the cost of going to school seven years to be a doctor or um, to become an engineer the cost of becoming that I am, I mean, a living proof of um, a self-learning journey. And for you, if you can't really afford um, the type of education you think you have to have, digital marketing is not without education. But the beautiful thing about it is that there are many people sharing resources online. And um, I think you should just hold on to hope. You should do a lot of research I should find mentors on LinkedIn and various platforms. And I'm very sure that you would you would see how beautifully your life evolves. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This was like, it's great. And I think I have great speakers today. And uh, you don't, you all like, you all gifted to speak. And I just want you to know that of the little that you have and what you are putting in, I can see millions and millions of dollars coming to your accounts if you are leveraging on the power of speaking by doing online courses, by doing consultancy, training like big, big organizations like Bank of Ghana and all those stuff because you have the flair, you have the zeal, you have the confidence to do that. Sibri, thank you. Today, the time is yours. <laughs> just bring up, bring up something in your mind and this session is just like taking you through impromptu because if you are a great leader and a speaker most of the times when you go to events that you want to enjoy you just want to learn they'll put you on the spot that's what oh and since we have uh, victoria maverick here please maybe share one or two things since we have balong sibiri share one or two things you are not prepared but you must speak Imagine uh, Victoria had prepared her speech. I think she, all of us will have been crying because it will, it will have been emotional and she's going to add that like a uh, flair of the feminine touch of voice to it. 
But then she she's not prepared, but she gave a what master class. So simply balong, bring up a topic. Let's move on. Oh, okay. Thank you, um, Mr. Ibrahim, and thank you everyone for joining today's session. Yeah, it is not over until it is over. That's what I think we get to discuss. Yeah, it is not over until it is over. Right. Is right. a sentence that we use commonly to keep ourselves ongoing, no matter the circumstances. I do know we all here we have challenges, but from the beginning of our life we're able to go through till today. The challenges are not over. Life is not over either, and we can make it still. If you do look upwards, you'll fall that ah, I'm so depressed. If you do look vertical with your range, you say, Wow, I have had a lot of people within my range. If you do look below you, you say, Ah, I get a report, I can step on and go forth. That notwithstanding, it is still not over until it is over. Until our last breath, we are born as great leaders. Right from our DNA, we are leaders and we can make it. The challenges we're facing today are just stepping stones. We climb them, then we become what we want to be in future. Within our family, we will shine light. Within the community, we will shine light. Ghana, we will shine light. In Africa, the light still radiates. Wow. It is not over until it is over. Thank you. Wow. It is not over until it is surely going to be over. I like that. I like... <laughs> I like the repetition of like the topic or the, the heading of whatever the title of your speech is not over until it's over. I like like I just like it. And today all all of you you are just doing great to be frank and you can put like this content on YouTube on different platforms and you can go to schools like junior high school, primary schools, universities and inspire them with these words because a lot of people are going through tough times and they just need some words of inspiration to hold on to they need words of inspiration to create that rapport to let people know that they can make it possible so i'm trying to add okay it's always possible it's always going to be possible and things are always going to work out the way we want them work out so uh i like that like the structure the stanzas if i was a poet i would say today and uh, richmond has summed it all for the speakers he says wow awesome speakers these are great speakers and i think one of the things that we need to do is to bring that vibe to let the world know that whether it's CNN, whether it's DW, whether it's whatever medium, to let people know that yes, we are rising and we are coming back to do what we do best. So the next tax, Mash. Yes. Great, Rick. I like your spirits. I like your spirit. Do you have some questions? Wait. for now i'm okay okay so what i will do is that tomorrow or the like the next coming days we are going to incorporate powerpoint to this whereby okay. you get the opportunity to just do like some slides simple slides and you come and present those slides i'll control the slides for you and you can follow the slides so it's just another way to like face your fears and when once you get on stage and you have something you are holding on to you can always like refer to especially when it is like zoom meetings when it's like online you can even do powerpoint and do that only for youtube i do that i just use powerpoint to create rapport 
and I do presentations on that. So maybe we'll learn to do PowerPoint also, but then I like the way you are putting your presentations. So, Sibeli, do you have some questions? Um, yeah. The only question I have is a form of an appeal. Okay. All those who are part of this Zoom or this uh, webinar, just put your hand at the back of your elbow or I mean your shoulder on it. Just pat there for me. I'm not seeing you, but you can just pat there for me. That is a sign of saying congratulations for being with us for today. It's an honor. Okay. <laughs> then we're going to take it up okay. from there. Thank you, everyone. Okay. <laughs> wow. I think you, you are learning all the techniques and you are putting all the techniques to use to be able to engage your audience <laughs> at any point in time. I think uh, it's been great having all of you. Then the next the next badge of things that we want to do is it's going to be like the same presentations but we are going to look for quotations so if you have quotations in your mind i'm just going to come and uh, you tell me your quotes i have victoria mode and victoria maverick I hope they are the same. All right. So you get quotations. You can get them online. You, if you have quotations or proverbs, this is the time to unleash them. So I'll just mention your name. You read them out or just say them out. And you, perhaps you put a meaning to them. Are we good to go? Mash. Mash, are you yes. around? Okay. Hope you had the task. Quotation. Yes, yes, yes. Do you have a proverb of a quotation? Quotation. Okay. Proverb or a quotation? Yes. Okay. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. A stitch in time saves nine. Okay. I have a lot of people on the ground. Sorry. Who do is sorry, who do? And I have a lot. Today is a full house. Suhin Suleimana, we have uh, Hudu. Welcome. So, a station time save nine. Right. So, maybe tell us who you are and uh, let's kick start. Okay, Sibri. Okay, Sibri is off. Right, so let's go, let's go, Suleimana. I think you are muted. Okay, so who do? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. All right, so we are talking about quotations. We are talking about quotes or proverbs. If you have any, let us go. <laughs> Okay, Proverbs. Um, let me organize myself and come back. Okay. Uh, Victoria Maverick. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. So... Um, <laughs> so there's a saying that doing business without advertising is like winking at a girl in the dark. 
you know what you are doing, but no one else does. Right. And this this thing is so profound because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's a, a very ironical. But the truth of the matter is that it is true. So if you're doing business, you're doing business in Iraq, you have audiences, you have people that probably need what you have to offer. If if you're a service business or a product based business, right? But then you're not right. advertising, probably not even on Facebook in the first place, which is literally, I mean, the first love of Ghanaians. When you look at the numbers, then you are really hitting yourself in the foot. It means that whatever effort you think you are making, even if you are doing something offline and you are not advertising online, um, it's like you shooting your shot at a lady and she's not really seeing it. So today I, I encourage that you, you start with a Facebook account first and an Instagram account for whatever business you have. And once you've taken off with learning the nuances of a Facebook platform, you can venture on to do LinkedIn. Yeah. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's great. And uh, I like the way you transition the quote to tell, uh, like pitching your business. And I think you can start public speaking with this. Some okay. people ask, what, what should I start with? And you can, uh, and sometimes I say, start with a quotation. If you have a quote that can directly link to your business, it's good. So you see, you get the attention and you are using that to be able to like leverage and uh, create that opportunity for yourself. So I like the way you transition the quotes and it's moving on well and i like that and believe you me when you go to senior high student to speak to senior high school students or university students they will measure your uh, intelligence when you start giving them quotations okay. <laughs> especially senior high students they like quotations they'll say oh i like that speaker she was just giving quotations from her head She's good. Mm. <laughs> okay. Right. All right. But Thanks for that. The content is very really important, but the quotations. And you see people like uh, Les Brown. That's what they thrive on. He uses a lot of quotations and he catches the attention of his audience with quotations. So, Sibri, you are here. Your quotes. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm um, the uh, darkness cannot drop our darkness. Oh. Only light can do that. Hate Come cannot on. drive out hate. Only love can do that. This is a powerful quote from Martin Luther King Jr. At the okay. time that there was so much hate, or at the time that he thought there was so much hate within him. The season of Martin Luther King Jr. and now there's no difference. We still perceive that there's hate within us. We still perceive that people hate us. For all we care to know, love outweighs everything. Light outshines darkness. If we come with hate and I come with hate, we will never move forward. If they hate you, even if you perceive, even if it's real, you can still show love. Or oh, it costs nothing to show love to somebody. But it costs a lot to be loved by someone else. Yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for hanging around. Always be around. <laughs> right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I just love the maturity that all of you are giving to this like you're giving it to like a lot of maturity and i can tell you that you are all great speakers you're all great if you are consistent of your practice maybe you are practicing putting in topics subjects planning creating opportunities for you i'm telling you you can do more of your voice the power of the voice that you have because you all take time to explain you and you see and that's why we need to all speak in public each one of you you have a way of explaining things to people so another tip i want to leave with you is that when you are speaking maybe you go to an event and you are two or three speakers or four 
if you are a beginner in speaking, you are going to start judging yourself. And what is that type of judgment? It's like the other person spoke more than me. It's like the other person is like it's more inspirational than me. It's going to happen because we are all humans. So if you don't take time, you are going to get caught in that type of darkness and you may not sell your message. Yes, Sibri may speak and people will laugh. I may go on stage and no one will laugh. Victoria may speak just to inspire and I will speak and I cannot I may not be able to inspire everybody. Right? But we all yeah. have the type of audience that will listen to us and change. And I know that today's session has been inspirational. Just like a lot of gems, a lot of opportunities to do that. Abdul Gafar, welcome. Mash. Sorry. Yes. Right. Right. So uh, I see Victoria. Victoria Mode. I don't know whether it's the same. Yeah, that is that is me. I, I have to do a backup because my machine keeps going off. So I wanted yes, to make I sure that I realize that. I realize I just wanted to know so that if not someone will come and say we don't even give him or her attention. Yeah, yeah, I understand. It's fine. Right. Uh, Sule, Sulemana, Suini, are you here? Just unmute yourself and let's go on. Welcome, bro. Right. So I think uh, the network is still an issue for some people. And uh, I think those are some of the things that we need to look at in terms of solving the problems of young people in Ghana. Because sometimes I travel out of Ghana just because I want to enjoy better internet connectivity. There are things that you want to do. And if you are like into serious tech, sometimes you get disappointments. Like you want to do Zoom meetings. People have paid for you to come and do Zoom meetings. And they log in and you, you are just saying hello, hello, testing mic. No one is hearing. <laughs> right? <laughs> and you are off. Sometimes it's dangerous. I'm telling you, you feel like slapping the computer, laptop because <laughs> you are connecting and it's not working. It's not working. I need to go to some cafe. I need to pick my laptop to a different place. But then we can do better. We can solve some of the issues. So now let's go. Now we're talking about tabletop. Now we are going to go a little different. A little different in a way. We are all from different places. And we all have different languages. So we are going to go the local dialect a little because sometimes you need to in incorporate that into your presentation. It's very important. When you get to like, I do a lot of trainings for rural women. And sometimes when I go, I need to come to their level to speak the dialect that they can speak. Even though I speak English sometimes for them to translate. But it's good if you are going with your local dialect so we all have local dialects start thinking about yours <laughs> <laughs> and uh the local dialect you are just going to pick your topic your own topic this one i won't give you a topic and say oh just pick something and say one or two things about that so mash are you ready yes which dialect are you going to I'm speak still, i'm still thinking about the topic <laughs> <laughs> you can never think about the topic. <laughs> right. So, Sibili, <laughs> let's go. Just speak any Ghanaian top, uh, language. If you can speak French, we welcome French. <laughs> okay. Um. Thank you. I would like to speak to Sally. Sally to Mulu. Great. That's my local dialect. Right. Let's go. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. I'm sure you might be wondering where the Tumuli is coming from. So it's from Upper West, Upper West Region. Um, Manas Sipri, Sipri Ali Tumu, Tokrojan, Mumusku, Igala, Pamre, and JSS. 
Akemo was a dandre school, and now called Boko Akamo Boko Nesin School. Jenin Chem Mohon fully dear Basin Hon of Bolivia, Jahlika and Joe on Nemo Bolang, the name her club here internet. Le Lamadam Bolanga on being accident by fully your accident by Yuka Prima Osabe, now in Karama. La bottom is in the sea, la ju la nyok, da lusum, I did by a fast avane, a prest avane, stoma. Then you can carry my tramadolba, a jumutu, la bin and a la yellow filly. Then a jun lorry, then a la yellow lana was lorilla. Cacola falling was a bacacola low de mojimo, we cala, mudo jumula massa hair, umbilis pan. On go chain kiri kiri kiri kiri. Mutu gata na, the mojo gara na until the then then ni ane hena me ko the na pa ni halu le mani na basang sunna ma win. Wala mta yam buja na nga mili na kujung mutu kula na kujul lorry the na nga siatina the mahantwa na mili na kala siya he drava le the wo buluya. I travel a brehay, ball of Passa of Fat, ball on Jung Unfold Libin and Belluri, the new. I think I must travel a warm of the Ubes Pan Lacramo to let to you. Majama wind the Miss Bola on our way, Miss Away, Bina Majam for let the corner at once, meaning some sumo bubble in the Sahara Jana. Major Machama Manoro, Bullet, Catacolum, Bullet, Catacolum, and Name. I'm out. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I've, I, I, I've swear you, you, you guys to Upper West Region and to me in particular. <laughs> right, right, right. That's great. It's, it's been nice. So, uh, who do? Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. Roll it off. Roll it, roll it, roll it. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to assume that I'm going to, I'll be speaking to students and okay. I'll be speaking the family. Yes. So, all right. Um, so, this is the first time I came to the Anungula. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was ni enti ya file so won un topic nyala de encha moti jende de tun so kamza hanan ni mo zangpa o karambo zo shan be de tun so kamza ha yule dalir shaldin to hona pe eh ki ha nirwa lan kana pe de wutsa pase okay iza ha boto de mun na kwanya maki nan iza hanan tin ya de file shalmane de goda ma iza ha wo inu de wo hena kama ne iza ha kana miti sa pase there was only a diffusion of my Zahaka and Dirty. So come the day, you see, yeah, you didn't dine a cup of postia, you that savvy bees in I. Yeah, um, so come the yellow yinga, in pure lorry, and cohonyama, and panache, bake a lap. You wish your own Bohamanda can among Jim Bata, my Yira Mitava, Yira Mitava talk. There was only a zang, shellazang, and pilginella. The Botuna can a shukuru, and Tia and Yula and Tik Palamai Pini Casabus had to buy Casa Fili. And now we are young canna. Cover me, Osham, Laka Salem Kuli, cover me. The result I pay canna, bay I pim canna scrum and the tuna company. I am Pizo, Capilla Zosong in the two influence at academic performance positively. Amma so ye and dwelleki, ye dwell tabu kamane, ye kunyala zuan, ma kabi yap tabi yel mala karinyala, ye and yama tipi ha shangan and dumbin. Is a high sapuli. We on kulu yanga, a kukula yanga, is a high zaru zuan. There is a pang yay mam pum, in canashukum, a bombuki can a dye hankal nandupuni. Satisavaka passi. It's a kia no maki ha banya number one, kia think his ashram of Bussunya Gari Lamba. Je suis un peu plus de temps. Je suis un peu plus de temps. Je suis un peu plus de temps. Je suis un peu plus de temps. Je suis un peu plus de temps. Je suis un peu plus de temps. Je suis un peu plus de temps. Je suis un peu plus
girmek de bak bunu. Klasis ikiyana. Ekstra klasis ikiyan. İkiyan. Yon yapaki haka akba. Ha nye saha şale döntü na akba jine. Nkaram ven yara. Saha ma kane. Yolo zonko en zan lepe. Kakpa hay zone. Ni za hakpang mi man. Di sa nan ki e kule. Di sa te na ka kule. Ki nyala banyan bie universi nam kako lo tapu lo tapu lo tapu lo tapu lo tapu lo tapu lo tapu Thank you very much. You, <laughs> I think it's one of the best sessions, <laughs> actually. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> okay. Mr. Ibrahim, I'm now on. You are now on. Okay. You see, someone has found his voice. So let's go, Slay. T- tell us who you okay. are, and maybe so, you can go into the local okay. dialect some more. All right. Okay. My name is Soyini, and I'm in Tamale. And I'm okay. also doing my internship at Hopping Academy. Wow. All right. Wow. Uh, yeah. That, that's a bit about me. Great. So, uh, if you go, greet Makate for me. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll do that, sir. Yes. So, if you have a local dialect that you want to present in, and uh, what you are going to do is you are going to advise students what language will that be okay okay let me okay. go with um, english english english english yeah. okay yeah. so before the english yeah. we'll come to you in the english okay, session so english, we'll come to you in the english session okay but i can also go in the daban um, okay but i can also I can go, go in the daban okay, the okay. okay. Okay. Okay. okay. So I'm ahead. getting a little feedback. So I'm getting a little feedback. Yes, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Alright. Alright. Oh, okay. I think it's because I'm using the AI. I think it's because I'm using the AI. Yeah. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay. Um, Alright. Anula. Oh. Anula. Na. Okay, Yellow pump lang karakter ng nasa dam. Dene niya at mga mga nang zaano abuko ng pony. Dene check ato sa bin basi. Dene ang bahay niya la at mga mga ka laan sa dam bisyo kurmani kato para dene. Dene niya kaman dito may bisyo katubo ng debating. Katubo ng nang banchi ng yabda banlan. Lala. Laan ko mga ay pangamang ka baharadan ng zo. Yan siya may kanwal tsegi kana to di fila zaman ka bazoan tabjam. Kana to di fila karamal nilu bukata ng bengyalang ka. Dan lang bah niya la spos niya la jaman na yedja. Ay jam na ay baharadan na jaman ng mga pune. Nubasa niya la diyan to di uso chip sa zanta. Kadin ng kahit ay ti zo na ay yaale niya la buwal na pulo. Kabi, di nila di nyan sunga kam. Di nyan ang gaya ha. Di lang tuka baza buwari tu un tali isu kurma polo. Di ti nang katu un tali zan. Di tuka baza yina tutu chan buwari. Ay nang nasara ka di kanyi tu un tali ma. Di nang waha mas tu habi amin. Ay sa ti zi inye pamle. Ay nang tu babsulu saf. Shang. Kar ka di mwasuru. Bany di nyan ga. Ay pahari. Lal. Lah lansi nun mama puni, be pangaman jual ni apa yang nang bersyukur mana? Kalan cangkar dengar, tentu tercekan ini zosong. Kajang gamas obe guam nanti, kabel jaga syukur mili, kacang, kabel yoko. Tentu anfaan pambian nilir karnu bukan dengar langga. Kalan pahin bersyukur mana lansi lansi puni? Kalan cang ni ni bersu.
the last uh, silly, silly, but wow that was great like that was great like uh victoria hi <laughs> fire <laughs> great okay so um i'm going to speak in in Ewe. that's my yeah but it's it's not the very best anyway so in case you understand Ewe, <laughs> you have to pardon me right um, about YouTube. YouTube, about Anyato music in Chi, Anyato um, websites in Chi, Anyato. Let's see how they can do it. And a YouTuber, Nata Sech Lafma. I'm a Gede, Srona Nulafma, Bazuna, a new Gedeo, a Gibanazu social media manager, low, a Gibanazu content writer. Let's see how they can do it. Let's go to the next one. Ne Gamela Siona spent on Bena uh, Land on HubSpot, Alo, Udemy, and uh, the other places. But our YouTube, our Diego Malafuma, Vida Vida, and a Baco and Yaba Gomasasa, a Gavida Basuma, Afina, Susubana, Nakoga, Apple courses online. The Major Mana Yanaba. YouTube has a session in a search la from You can not search an array of topics and then a walk in my boy. I cover a lot of resources now, but up you can not put in two. Let over and so soon. Thank you. Wow, <laughs> a lot of English in there is crazy, right? Like. Wow, like I think we've missed a lot by trying to get into the realm of English. Yeah. See how beautiful you all crafted your language, like, and it was like it was like there was beauty to it. And I think we need to, we need to. So, Suhini, yes. welcome. Thank you. I I didn't conclude. know I was lost. <laughs> Go, okay, just conclude. Because we, you get oh. you got lost somewhere in the middle. Okay. Okay. So I I landed I do la la la so mama. Then a party debating club ni kanang the sporting activities. Kalan tuang pangaman ka karanda biko no ven yaranga. Then lampa bahagun yala. Is your crew married to you, family? You have a leadership in Balama. The two numbers are Ponama and Pai and Bonama. The Labu Nomadi and Pansama is Anchi. Capsu have the Anabis at the Tag family. Either government in Yelbe, Jangamazo and Yel. I am Bobby moving Yan Kaka, so he's here. The damn found of the Lampaha in Yala and Toy and Chang Shukuru, Kabora scholarship. Yala Bila Shukurumas with Yale, Kabi Yoko. The land of Mama Zasa, the near Shahara Shahadan Wu and Amal Bangson, Kalam Malfam, Katuna near with Taba, Kajang Tuna to the Sahian Kama, the Zoo, Pamia Yama, the Nunza Ali Bukunama, Kalan Nunza, no yellow Camden Bishop Kurma Pony, the land from Bergeria Zas, Kalan from Dry as the Susu Shabanya and Ponya Chang Tony, Ama Kampanya Kahigal and Gallant Pony. In your Satan Wheel and Taba, in your new so you won't be high, Shukuru, then Taba, Kajang University, in Chang Tanjuani, until you have a dance shell wildly in fire. Thank you. Wow, wow, thank you very much. Like, that's just all awesome. Uh, Mash, Mash, welcome, AG. Mash, are you there? Yes. 
match today there you cannot dodge this local dialect let's go <laughs> <laughs> Okay, maybe I will speak Dagbane. Okay. All right. Then, AG, today they just have to speak three. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Mash, are you testing the mic? Ah. <laughs> Uh, I thought you were speaking to a Mash different one, two. Hello. Yes, Mash, go on. Okay. Anongula Zama. Milum Bonde Mashud. Tongo. Then Zilla. Then Yella Bebe Pule. Yes, Toa. Bibel Bibel pulling yella come up, dear moon never say yell it, Capun Melpua. The me Bibel Puluma me the be song the dia who chant Tony, then I love through La Nyanga. Then so. Amal dia de sumsuka a choko chan shukuru. On be shukurma shukurma bon wo on yam gubo man sham. Kabatu nan pwa. Ama an choko obe yanga. Then Kabi and you chant Tozongo and Tapua. Then Zong Kupam de la Bidu Arabe Jandi. The Bazang Babe, Bicha Kabe, Chanchokuru Bay, Bricha Kabe, Dwelle, Nemfo, you were, you were, Bayan Zamba, and the Chiao. I think this is what I I can share. I think it's great. It's great, and uh, like it's great. So, AG, maybe introduce yourself. Then uh, you also get anything you want to talk about. It could be your business in your local dialect. I speak English or Dagbane? English and Dagbane. Introduction English. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Documents in Terry Tumbarla. It's Alma Conan of Yasha and Barama. Okay. Wow. Great. Great. Great. Great. So I think we've all we've covered everybody in terms of the local dialect. What you need to understand in speaking is that most of the times we practice and everybody's practicing using the English language. And when you get back home, you get lost. And you all brought out great topics. Uh, Mash brought about like teenage pregnancy, talked about teenage pregnancy. Suyin Suleiman talked great about uh, some of the teen streetisms and all those things. Uh, Hudi Yahya talked about great innovations, bringing up like kind of like leadership at a level. I had my sister uh, talked about how we can use digital services, like uh, getting to like platforms like Udemy, doing courses and all those stuff to help 
yourself and to help your communities. And uh, my brother Sibri Balong talked about the fact that we need to look at street accidents, accidents on our streets, and people who perhaps may be leading us in terms of driving, but they are negligent because they're taking drugs like tramadol, alcohol, and all those stuff. And we get a lot of street accidents. So we all talked about things that like are passionate, things that we like, things that we feel like we can use to change society. Beautifully, it was crafted in your local dialects and you all did well by then. In fact, sometimes you, know, you may not even feel comfortable speaking your local dialect in the midst of like maybe high-ranking people. But I'm telling you, you can use the power of like whatever you have to craft and to change the people. Most of the times, the people in your locality listen to you through your dialect. You can connect to them more via your dialect. So as you are practicing with English, keep on practicing by using your local dialects too. You can use mini demonstrations to organize events and just speak your local dialect to connect to the people in your community or your, in your constituency. And that's the power of public speaking. Not only about English, but then it is about how to connect with your local dialect. So any question you see your lo local dialect, is anyone having a question for me? I'm um, trying to bring up. Here. Okay. So you need. Hello, Mister Ryan. Yeah. Yes, I'm. Um. I'm Bohami. Do you know such an like? Until non presentation. Right. Kaso boha boha. Kaso boha boha go. Kaso you see, like. How do you do like go about it? Okay, so you go go in the English tangent so that all the panel can contribute. So you need okay. have you and then okay. someone asks you a question like that provokes you. Okay. Yes. So his okay, Hello. we can hear you. His question is that when you are on stage, on stage. Okay, so you. Okay, so you. Please clear me. Please clear me. Okay. So that. So that. So your earpiece is distracted, right? So your earpiece is distracted, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh. oh right okay so that's the question is that sometimes you are on stage and someone will ask you a question that will emotionally trigger some anger and you get angry so what do you do anyone can get into it yeah super here Wait. Yeah, for me, there's one uh, remedy. I used to become anger. I used to become anger. I just smile over it. I smile over it. That way, that person won't feel that he, hurts you, he or she has hurt your feelings. And you laughing over it in another way, you are a form of dissolving the anger within you. Because if you are tempted to reply, you will reply in a more aggressive form. If you also ignore the question, it's like you are ignoring the person. So for me, with my colleagues, I just smile over it. Then I move on. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So we have Victoria. Okay, ma okay, okay. Ma okay, Mash. My shoot. 
All right. Okay, before you start your speech, you just have to prepare mentally and emotionally for such questions. So when you are thrown such questions, that will, you just swallow your anger. Okay. Maybe for the period of the speech. That's you just fine. have to make up your mind. Okay. So, okay, AG. Uh, uh, I think for me, I think such questions should be answered after programs. Maybe <laughs> you know, mostly questions. <laughs> Questions are mostly asked at the end of every program. So when such questions are asked, personally, I will tell the, the, the questionnaire to, for instance, to meet me after the program so that, because there's no enough time, to no, meet are, after the program and answer the question. There are two after the programs. When said, we're in school, back in JSS, when uh, we say, let's meet after closing, Simply means something different. <laughs> it's true. It is true. After closing, hey, let's. <laughs> Edgy. Uh <-huh. laughs> closing. <laughs> right, but it's okay. You can put it, put that at the end. Okay, Any. I, I also think such yeah. questions are almost still up. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I also think such questions are mostly asked to be to see light of uh, certain issues. Yeah, you see, like sometimes someone will ask you a controversial question, like, and a teacher and a doctor is more important. Such <laughs> questions are mostly asked to see your side of the <laughs> the stories. <laughs> the stories. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So this break. I, I, yeah. I see such questions. I see okay. such questions. Okay. So, uh, okay. Victoria. All right. So, I think one, so it's two things for me. If it's a question that, um, even though it triggers anger, it is something I still have to answer because if I don't um, tackle it, it might be, let's say, something that really bothers your image as a person. I think you should still make your point and then you let them know that um, you'd like to take this um, discussion on probably in the next 10. So at least it goes away from you, someone else talks and you're able to calm down and filter out the words you want to use. Uh, you don't end up really screaming or getting heated with the discussion. So I'll, I'll, I'll, if it's image about something really um, related to my image, I would want to deal with it because it's not something to keep silent on. Yeah. Wow. That's good. So it all comes back to how we all tackle different issues. And as speakers, maybe if Hudu wants to say something, you can say that. But as speakers, you need to be able to streamline your anger and sometimes just look over it and look beyond the person. We are all having different type of thinkings and based on where you are coming from and your experiences, your thinking level is, and even the amount of money you have can cause you to think certain way. And some people are going through tough times. And once you are speaking, there are two types of questions or three people, questions that will seem to, uh, people will ask questions to try to disgrace you one. So if you're doing presentation, someone will go and search or something on Google. Tough question and come and ask you. For instance, whether entrepreneurs are born or made. <laughs> <laughs> I would say they are from Greece. <laughs> right. So you see how it is. People will just try to like, try to, and there are some emotional To trigger points your anger. To trigger your anger. Sometimes as humans, we may say that, oh, you do this, you do that. 
but sometimes you go overboard. But if you go overboard and you feel like you didn't do well in terms of your approach, come back and apologize. Just apologize to the audience and move okay. on. Like in the case of Will Smith, you saw what happened, the type of slap that he yes. went up and gave that slap. <laughs> so, but then emotional questions are there. I was, I was speaking at an event and uh, someone just like wanted to ask a question. Raise up the hand and ask a question like, now why is it that Muslims are terrorists? You like fighting, you like killing people, right? <laughs> and see, I was like taken aback. But because of the audience there and the, like there were high people there, profile people there. And this person was like continually, you Muslims and even people in the north, I'm like there. you like fighting, you like whatever. So I try to control myself and I always I put in some words in my mind. Okay. And I started telling myself like pep talks. If I respond to this person violently, his, his point about me and Muslims is going to be proven right. Yes. So why don't I look beyond this person and know that this is an opportunity to educate this particular person. Okay. about who muslims are ah, this is the opportunity okay. to look beyond and maybe that's the perception he has grown up with mm. based on the things he has seen why don't i be a change Rather than... so i said i just said okay maybe that's what you think about but then there are people great people who are muslims and they are changing the world and I started mentioning names and names and names and names. And I say sometimes these questions are sensitive and you may even destroy the whole nation with this type of questions. So thank you for coming to ask this type of question. But then just know that they are sensitive issues. At the end of the day, the people who organized the event felt very sorry and they were apologizing to me. And people were thanking me based on how I handled this. Believe you me, there were some Muslims also in that particular like audience. And when I saw them, I knew that they were planning something. <laughs> they were planning to verbally attack the, that particular person. And I had to step in to control their anger. <laughs> so when you step on stage, there are a lot of expectations. Yeah. And you just need to like look beyond. What are you looking for? I'm looking for clients. I'm looking for opportunities. One person's opinion cannot change me. But in case you go overboard, you start to react, cool down, apologize and move on. Or you just say you cannot answer that question if it becomes too sensitive. Right. So there are a lot of things that you can do in that space. So now what I want us to all do is, and this is the next chapter, next chapter of public speaking. It's about introducing you, marketing your products and services. Most of you don't know how to do it because you've not practiced that for quite some time. You just go and they ask you and start saying, hey, I do this, uh, I do that too. Something will come in your mind. Oh, I sell share butter too. You've not planned. So we are all going to introduce ourselves uh, and the products that we have. And believe you me, some people will buy your services here in this platform in the near future. So let's go. If you have products, services, this is the time. I know, AG, you are going to talk, uh, give us a lecture about uh, CV writing. Okay. So, Sibri, start. What do you do? How can you we benefit from that here on this platform? Um. <clears throat> yeah welcome everyone um Sibri, uh is the name of a young man who lives in boko professionally in this entrepreneur wise uh, we are into poultry rearing and processing specifically the brawlers i think it's high time i'm too fed up with the imported frozen chicken 
Yeah, your answer is right as mine. You are. So why not try our fresh uh, process locally, raised organically? Um, red poultry. You could just taste the. You could taste our chicken from the north, preferably the Upper East region. You can order for guinea fowl. You can order for. Uh, we're not into techies yet, but future-wise, we'll add techies into it. So I think let's stop going beyond the seas to other towns. We can order from the north as well. And you should not look any further than your regular farms. You can contact us anytime, anywhere. We are ready to serve you. Thank you. Contact. Yeah, I can zero to zero. Yeah, we are on eight eight eight eight two three zero two three zero two two two two. Yeah, you can call uh, via voice message as well. Like you can drop a WhatsApp message. We are there to save within four hours seven. You are always our customer. Thank you. So, if you want to buy guinea fowls right down from Boku area. Zebele area, <laughs> that's where the best guinea fowls come from. Contact Sibri Balong for your guinea fowls. So I think the number should be on the screen. But don't don't be don't be pressured. If you don't want your number to go out there, no problem. Right. But then you can be able to be rest assured that get your guinea fowls from that. So one day we are going to do introductions only introductions but then i believe that your pitch is okay and you can do a little to add that so let's go to who uh, who goes next H yes My name is Abdelgafar Shini, and I am into consultancy services, basically in job requirement documents. And I prepare CVs and business proposals, cover letters, and any other job application document you could think of. And these are the services I'm rendering for job applicants. And I've seen that. Most job applicants don't pay much attention to these documents they use in applying for jobs. And aside jobs and they also aside using them for jobs, they also use such documents for scholarships. And one thing I've realized is they don't pay much attention to those documents. So we have come up to solve those the problems they are facing. And aside the job applicants, I also serve entrepreneurs with uh, two documents, that is business proposal and business plans. And with the business plan, you no, know, with the business proposal, you can use it to either generate funding for your services or the products you are selling. For instance, my good brother, Sibri, uh, uh, is into poultry. And aside marketing uh, a poultry business on online, you can also decide to use a business proposal, send it out to these potential customers. This a type of poultry or <laughs> the, the the the products is into. Maybe if you want to buy both the the poultry and uh, eggs, you can contact him through the proposal he has sent to you. And I said the business proposal using it to generate uh, or to get a uh, client. You can also use it to, for funding. For instance, I would like to use my brother uh, Sibri again. For instance, as time goes on, when the shortage of certain uh, uh, poultry food in his poultry farm, he can send out his business proposal to maybe his constituency DC. 
for a little bit of funding to fund the poultry. So this is the uh, this is what he can use the proposal for. And aside the proposal, he can also use the business plan to generate funding and the same uh, thing as looking for uh, his potential customers. So basically, this what these are the services I render job applicants and entrepreneurs. And aside those documents, I also render business consultancy services and advertisement for businesses. Thank you. Great. Contact? Yeah, I have a contact that I would like to share. 020. 020. <laughs> 6686. Okay. And the business name is AG Professional Services. Okay. AG Professional Services. Professional. AG Professional Services. 0208976686. Right, right. So, Victoria. Yes. Great. Hello again. I'm Vicky, or you can call me Maverick. Um, I'm the co-founder of Digital Mojo Africa, um, which deals in digital marketing services and trainings. We also do website development and mobile app development and other software development projects. Um, our services actually always start with something free, which would be a free consultation for you to understand what you can do um, for your business, um, the target audience online, not just offline. And then typically for other businesses that already have some form of um, digital assets like websites or they have their own social media pages set up already we do digital audits and these audits would advise um, how they can position their brand and who to look up to a benchmark or a competitor they can form of not copy but pick one or two things from to initiate their online um, marketing efforts so if you would want to i mean develop a website or you want any form of training, you can contact us on 055-44-72-794. This is both for call and for WhatsApp. So anytime at all, you can send in a message and we'll be more than happy to assist you. Thank you. What's the name again? Digital Mojo. Yes, Digital Mojo. M O J O. Yes, please. Africa. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we have Digital Mojo in the house. Let's go to Brahmash. Mash, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. My name is Mukhtar Mash. I am accountant by profession. Can you hear me? Aida, we can hear you. Yes, I am an accountant by profession. And for now, that's the only profession that I have. Profession one. I haven't gone into any, any, any, <laughs> any business yet. Great. But I'm planning Great. to do so in future. That's fine. Start it now, and because there's no future. The future is now. Okay. The future is now. Unless you tell me that you are uh, getting some zeros inflated and you are okay with that. 
Yeah. No, not right. at all. No, I can't <laughs> we say not at all. So we have Suhil <laughs> Suleiman. It's the time. Yes. Um, okay, Suhini is into digital marketing. We help businesses um, improve their online presence or to become online, active online. So we can help you create a social media account on all the social media platforms. And we can also help you run an, a paid ad, advert on the internet to help you generate sales for your business. Aside that, we also create a website for you. We can create a website for you. Or, or if you already have a website and you want a content for it, we can do that for you. And then let's say you want something on it to sell, sell something online. We can get you um, an online store to do that to help you um, bring your services to the world. Hello. Eight nine seven eight six eight six. What's the name of the organization? Zero five zero six eight nine eight nine seven eight six eight six. So I mean, what's the name of the organization mm -hmm. I should put there? Is it hopping? Savvy key. Oh. Savvy. Yes, zero. S A V S A V V Y C A K. Okay. So thank you to all of you for the opportunity today to practice. I hope and believe you learned one or two things that will help you in the near future. The dream is always to help you to speak out and to market your products and services. We can all do more, no matter where you are, no matter what you do, your services, the world needs your services. And your voice is an instrument for you to sell and market your products and services. So you can do more if you stand in front of people to speak, to learn how to sell, to learn how to market, to learn how to create opportunities, and to learn how to do more. And that's, you can only use public speaking as a call card to reach out to more people. Public speaking can help you accelerate that. And uh, in the near future, I'm looking forward to have all of you. We are going to do a big program together. I'm going to do a boot camp, like a two or three days boot camp on Facebook. And I'm going to market it to like, reach out to thousand people per events so we have thousand people watching our live streams and you are going to be the speakers i'm going to choose among you to be the speakers to speak in those live events because the confidence level that you are exhibiting now is getting real maturity is there and you can change the world of your voice so get ready for the next uh, boot camp but for now we are going to keep on doing the practice keep on practicing keep on crafting different messages and they said they will give each one of you 10, 10, 20, 20 minutes for you to just do a full length presentation for me to see. We'll work with PowerPoint, we'll work with your presentation, the tone, the pitch, the tonality. We are going to work in all of these areas. If you have a PowerPoint script for tomorrow's presentation or practice, you can share that one in advance so that I'll control the slides for you. Tomorrow, get topics. When you just come straight, of the exception of new people here, new people that will come. All of you, you are just going to get straight and you tell me what you practice on, what you research on, what you want to say. So thank you for coming. Maybe your final words, your final inspirational words, all of you, then we close. Okay. Uh, I'm very impressed. 
for today's session. And I'm looking forward to learn more in subsequent days. Great. Sibri? Yes, boss. Let's go. All right. Um, thank you, everyone, for participating to, in today's session. It's an honor getting to know each other from afar, different regions, but we are all within one room here. It's good. We keep moving forward um, to make our family better and ourselves better, and the community will live better. We can't do it alone. With time, we get to pull more people to join us. They will fight for a better cause. The voices be carried. Thank you, everyone, and good night. Hey, G. Thank you very much, everyone. It's a pleasure meeting you all online. And I was very happy to hear from my colleague speakers advertising their services. And as it stands, we all know what each and every one does. If you need a website, you know who to call. If you need a poetry, I mean, you know who to call you. If you need anything consultancy, you need, you know who to call. And it's a pleasure to meet everyone on here. Thank you very much. I am in spice. Right. Wait up. I'm a genie. If you are here, if you are not here too, that's fine. Victoria. Right, so that's a back account. Uh, okay, so thank you to all of you for coming up. Let's get ready. Tomorrow is another day, but don't give up. If you need to do any business tonight, write about it, think about it, dream about it. The next morning, just do it. Don't give up. Stay blessed. <laughs> And now uh, go back to the YouTube channel, the YouTube, and watch all and see the things that you are going to improve on tomorrow. And you come and improve on those things. So you are going to just take your time, watch some relevant portions, and uh, see you like your voice, but you are all great. But watch, then get better on tomorrow. And uh, maybe next week, start get looking for schools that are around to go and speak to them. Schools, opportunities to speak like physical events. Start looking for opportunities. Meetings, schools, events, online events, and go there and give your speeches. You are getting better. God bless you all. God bless Ghana. God bless Africa. I am. I believe in you.